Let's talk about a few of the hottest startup rounds from last week. Cursor raised $2.3 billion at a $29.3 billion valuation, which was their third fundraise this year. Cursor is known as the AI coding tool that engineers are obsessed with. They help you with autocomplete, debugging, learning your style, and it's already used by half of the Fortune 500. This round is a 12x valuation jump since January, and it's coming just five months after their last $900 million round. With this new capital, Cursor is training Composer, which is its own in-house coding model so it can rely less on OpenAI and Anthropic and keep more margin. Right now, Cursor still pays massive inference costs to those labs, which is pretty ironic because those same labs are also building Cursor's competitors like OpenAI's Codex, Anthropic has Claude Code, and Gemini recently launched Anti-Gravity. Tavis raised a $40 million Series B to build AI humans, what they call PALs. They can see, hear, speak, read emotion, and actually take actions like scheduling, email, and outreach. They actually show up as a person on video, and unlike other avatar tools that just generate one-way videos, Tavis is real-time and two-way, so it feels much more like being on call with an AI that can see and interpret your expressions in the moment. They've built a whole suite of models to power these PALs, like Phoenix 4 for expression rendering, Sparrow 1 for conversational and emotional intelligence, Raven 1 for perception, context, and gestures, and there's a full orchestration and memory system. Their bet is that the human computer face hasn't really evolved since the 1980s, and that their human-like interface is going to beat traditional chatbots. Finally, Parallel raised a $100 million Series A at a $740 million valuation. It's founded by the former CEO of Twitter, Parag Agrawal, and they want to build the web infrastructure for AI agents. As AI becomes a primary user of the web, not just humans, these agents need tools to get accurate real-time data, not just getting links, but actual context. So Parallel's APIs want to give agents higher accuracy, lower hallucination access to the live web. And if agents really do become the main consumers of the web, Parallel becomes a pretty critical component of that stack.